Some West Fargo community members are fearing their way of life will be lost. Their fears are linked to a push for change in a rapidly growing city that includes the demolishing of the West Fargo low rise. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall tells us about the plans and has reaction. West Fargo's low rise residents learned about plans to knock down and rebuild their homes. The low rise is near Cheyenne and 8th Avenue. All 60 units will be torn down, replaced by up to 80 upgraded apartments. We're actually starting this whole project because uh, the cost of maintaining this project right now is just is just too much. This is going to be a great thing for the residents because they are going from an apartment that basically is an efficiency unit with just a stove and refrigerator to a one or a two bedroom unit that's got the, the microwave, the disposal, the dishwasher, the, and the air conditioning and everything. Residents have to move out during construction. Some can't return. We do want to get back into the initial um, eligibility criteria of being seniors. Some residents tell me they think the project is going to be nice, but they're worried about the transition breaking up their community. Older people don't really like to move, but they're all like friends, friends and family. And when you're older, that's kind of what a lot of older people want and need. Without their friends and routines, tenants tell me they worry about what's to come. We've got a number of people that still drive their vehicles and they can, you know, they can pick up their friends and come over here for a cup of coffee. Residents say they hope for a plan that keeps their new families together. Life is filled with lots of transitions, but half and half, breaking the project up, that kind of keeps the nucleus of what we'll call it the West Fargo family. In West Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. We have more details on this project, including the cost and proposed timeline on our website, valleynewslive.com.